Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Meatless and this is Literally Graphic. And today we are doing the alphabet soup tag. A is for author. This tag series was created not in alphabetical order by Sean the Book Maniac. Check out the description for a link to the original video if you want to check it out. So, question number one. A is for author. A good book by an author whose first name or last name starts with the letter A. Sorting through my Goodreads list, Jason Aaron's name obviously jumped to the top, but because the prompt suggests a good book, he doesn't really count, in my humble opinion. Instead, I will highlight the work of Zina Abirashad, a French language comic. I've read two of Abirashad's autobiography comics. I remember Beirut and A Game of Swallows, To Die, To Leave, To Return which I actually own as well, which cover her time growing up in Beirut during the Lebanese Civil War. Question number two. A is for, well, A. The last book you read with the article, one letter word A in the title. Digging back into what I've read recently, it was a little surprised by how many titles didn't include an A, but going back a month or two, the answer to this prompt is a wind in the door, part of my nostalgic reread of Madeline Langle. While I can certainly see why these books appealed to me and my family before, they haven't really aged well. I've actually not been giving them star ratings on Goodreads, though they don't show up on my mom's feed. <laughs> Lol. Question number three. A is for angry. A book that pissed you off. Atlas Shrugged? I feel like that's one I use a lot. The Japanese lover certainly rubbed me the wrong way, but angry? I guess Giant Days is the closest to a graphic novel that made me angry because of a man writing feminists who annoy me to popular acclaim. Question number four. A is for awesome, a top read of recent years. That would have to be A Mind Spread Out on the Ground by Alicia Elliott, a February five-star read that I haven't had much to t call to talk about yet, but is excellent. Question number five. A is for ah, a book whose title includes at least three A's, bonus for more than three. Assuming this does not require all the A's to be in a row, I did want to at least highlight a book with two A's in a row, and now I've got a tie. Aaron and Ahmed was a graphic novel I read a number of years ago that was digging into meme theory, interrogation slash torture. Life Among the Qualanot is an Anouk memoir published in 1978 that I picked up last year. Qualanot is the Inuit word for people who are not Inuit. I am probably not pronouncing it correctly. Question number six. A is for annoying. A character that drove you up the wall. Ned Stark. TLDR. His lawful good self rubbed my nerves raw and I was disappointed near the end of the Game of Thrones book when I thought he was dead and he wasn't. Much relief was had when he did kick the bucket shortly thereafter. Question number seven. A is for ambivalent. A book you're still not sure how you feel about. Looking at books I haven't given a star rating to, my eye immediately moved to Jezebel, a comic by Elijah Brubaker. There's parts of it that I certainly found entertaining, but it also felt like it missed any kind of, quote, the point for most of it. Maybe I'm reaching here. Obviously, I'm biased. Would generally recommend, but it was a bit more befuddling for me, I guess but generally pretty fun. Question number eight. A is for anticipation. A book, new release or not, that you're very much looking forward to reading. All the Octavia Butler books I haven't read yet, including Parable of the Talents, Earthseed Volume 2, Imago, Xenogenesis Volume 3, Mind of My Mind, and Pattern Master. Pattern Master Volumes 2 and 4, because I managed to accidentally read Volume 3 out of order. I just have a hard time tackling physical books without pictures, so I only am making the slowest of progress. But the end really is nigh, and I'm glad I to still have the excitement of more of her books to read. Question 9. A is for actually. A book you didn't expect to like, but did. Dragon Ball. Certainly a problematic fave, but what can I say? Fall for it hook, line, and sinker, but which really caught me off guard. Question number 10. A is for affected. A character, book, or writer you feel is pretentious. Anything by Frank Miller? I just saw the movie Arrival and found it to be very affected, but that's a movie and not by Frank Miller. Question number 11. A is for How's It Going, A? A book you liked by a Canadian writer or one you want to read. More books by Naomi Klein? I have only listened to This Changes Everything, Capitalism versus the Climate, and keep meaning to read more. 
Question 12, A is for Anticlimactic, a book you thought fizzled out at the end. In Real Life by Cory Doctorow and Jen Wang. Not exactly the end, but a book I recall back in 2018 that had a lot of potential but fizzled completely out by the end. Would not recommend. Didactic and stilted. Question number 13. A is for all the booktubers. Tag a swack of people. It's been long enough. I'm 99% sure that no one really is waiting for my first tag of another person. If you want to do it, do it. And let me know. Bye, y'all. And keep reading and resist white supremacy. And as always, Literally Graphic is recorded on the traditional territory of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation and the Anishinaabe people the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and the Huron-Wendat Nation. I live here because of British colonization, indigenous genocide, and more geographically specific, Treaty 13, also known as the Toronto Purchase, which was finalized in 1805 between representatives of the Crown and certain Mississauga peoples. This treaty was a lie and has since been broken many times over. Saying so reflects only my own small steps towards knowing the truth and does nothing for reconciliation.